Hello. Okay, so uh, my next project that I'm doing for the car is uh, window shades, I guess you can say. I don't know what, they're actually called something. But what it is, and I've seen a ton of other videos on this, so I'm going to do it my way. Everybody does it differently. Um, kind of got an idea from here and that person, this person. So kind of want to do it the easiest way, and hopefully <laughs> it is. <laughs> So I'm going to show you step by step what I'm doing and what it is is um, it's a material that will reflect the sunlight out so it's going to keep you cooler in the car and then also because it'd be blocked out it would be self as well so let's check this out I'll show you the materials you need and I'll show you step by step what I'm doing okay so the main thing you really really need is this okay um, it is in Home Depot by the installation. Um, no, nobody said that in one of the videos. I'm like looking all over the place. Finally found it. Had an associate ask, uh, I asked about. So that's what you need because that's the main thing that you're actually going to use. It's kind of like an aluminum foil bubble wrap type thing. It's really, really very cool. Literally. <laughs> and then you're going to need a black material. Okay. Uh, fat fabric, I mean. It doesn't even have to be anything special. I mean, if you want to, that's fine. I've seen one video that had, uh, uh, I forgot what kind of material it was, but it was really cool. And I looked for it in Walmart where he say it was, but it's okay. I just, I wanted just regular fabric, okay? Also regular fablet, whatever color you want or whatever design you want uh, for the inside, because it's gonna have to look pretty if you want. If not, it's okay too. But I chose this because I happened to see this at Joanne's and it was on one of those half off things. I was like, hell yeah, because guess what? I'm a traveler going through the States right now. Perfect for me. <laughs> and you're gonna need black spray paint, okay? Um, this is unfortunately glossy, so I don't know how this is gonna be. I hope it's not too, too glossy because then the sun will reflect from it and it won't be a self, so we'll see. If I have to, I'll go get a new one, but we'll see. Um, and then this is super important too, is the adhesive. And I, I kept seeing everybody do the 77 one, so that's what I got. Um, because that and the fabric is gonna have to, you know, attach, and you'll see what I mean. And of course, just the basics, uh, tape measure, Sharpie, and a pair of scissors, okay? So that's all I'm gonna need. And all right, so first thing you're gonna need, obviously, is your measuring tape to measure your windows okay every window is different every one's unique with the curves and everything so just get the basics of it from one width of it to the, the biggest width and you get the general idea you'd rather get more material so you can trim it than less and So first off, what you're going to need is obviously get that one first because that is going to be your main thing before you get the fabric. Don't even worry about that. So now that I measured it. Okay. I'm going to take a chunk. Woo! It is very reflective. The sun is definitely coming up to me. Okay. So... Got my piece. Actually, I have two because it's easier. One for both windows. Okay. So that one will go over there. Okay. So for this one, you put it on, right? And I did extra for a purpose. Like I said, more is better than less. And basically, you take your sharpie. Okay. It's easier probably from the inside because that's where you're actually going to put it. Yep. There we go. Alright, and you basically just take your Sharpie. And you measure it with this. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. And then all you have to do is cut around it. Boy, that stuff is definitely reflective. The sun is really in my eyes. And it's already hot out. So, got my template now, which I think I'm going to have to trim, but that's, again, more than less. Yep. Shit. Okay, so I did that one completely wrong. <laughs> I hope I got enough. I think I will. So, I'm going to leave this one alone, and I'm going to do this one instead. Measurements, good stuff. Let's try this again. Hopefully this will do it because I don't need to go buy another whole row because I keep messing up. So let's see. That's okay. I could deal with that. It is pretty damn close. It's like a half an inch off. So I think I'm going to try to work with this one. So <laughs> you got to make sure. See now. You see it? See how reflective it is? That's why you need the black spray paint and the black uh, fabric because then it won't you don't you will look more yourself you know all right so that's basically what you do okay i will work with that little i don't know if you can tell but there's a little itty bitty gap like maybe a quarter of an inch or so i don't want any sunlight coming in or anybody can peek through i mean yeah i can peek through that it's a little bit so that's the whole point of having this so then sun will stay out and people will stay out so, but anyway, so that is what you do, and you do that with all four windows and the back. Okay, oh my god, this heat is killing me. All right, so <laughs> I did all four windows. Right, I'll show you what I've done, um, and I haven't done the other parts of it yet because I'm going to do step by step with you guys. So here you go. Okay, so all four windows has it, and you can tell I really messed up. <laughs> Um, so I added, I kind of rigged it to the way I need to on a couple different ones. I mean, it's still, um, oh, I, I put more material on this one too. Um, you know, everybody else's looked like they were easy, no big deal. I could deal with that, but me, not so much. <laughs> I always have to screw something up. So, um, I had to get, I mean, that one looks pretty good. I think, I mean, there is a little cracks in some of these. I'll show you from the inside and you'll know what I'm talking about because you can't really see it from the outside right now. But it is very reflective. I've been wearing sunglasses, working with this stuff. I'll show you from the inside. I have the car running with the AC, so you might hear some air because I want to see how cool it gets in here. Oh, wow. Wow. Can't wait till I get the back in here. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. And this is not even with the fabric yet. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. I know you guys can't feel it in here, but it's freaking cool. <laughs> wow. All right, so basically it is gonna keep the coolness in here when the AC is on, obviously, and also the heat, keeps the heat in. So let me show you how to put the fabric on the stuff now. Okay, for some reason my tripods are not cooperating with me, so I'm just gonna show you from the angle I can without actually being in the position itself. So just watch and see my steps. Thank you. Black spray paint. I just 
went around the rest of them. And I put a big O on the outside. And then I for inside. So I'll know which side to actually spray paint. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray paint all the outside ones because that's what you need. Because that's where the black fabric's going to go on. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and spray paint this and show you how to do the fabric. Okay. So you can't really see my face. Don't even worry about it. You need to see this anyway. All right. So you take your piece, right? Take your fabric. I got two yards of black here. Okay, black side down. That's the, the black side that you're gonna need, okay? And just kind of eye it a little bit because you're gonna need Okay, so you cut it. You can't see me. So you cut the fabric, like I said, a little bit more, a lot more than the actual thing. So what you're gonna do is fold it. So okay, I'm gonna flip this over the black side. Take the adhesive. Okay. Fabric's on. Keep it hot. Okay. So you just want to make sure it's all nice and smooth, no wrinkles on that side. If I had an actual table, it'd be a lot easier. But you got what you work with. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. I have a table. Everybody else makes it look easy. I'm telling you it's not. <laughs> but work with what you got. Okay, for the most part, that's the important part anyway. Making sure that's wrinkle free. Okay? So I'm going to trim around. It's fucking hot. I'm going to trim around. And then I'm going to put the state's pretty one on that side. wasn't beaten down I'd be fine. Well, 
to screw it up again, but I'll deal with it. I don't even care. I love this fabric. So, I'm going to also two yards because I wasn't sure how much I was going to need. So, I'd rather get more than less. Basically the same thing. Oh crap. It works. I wanted it horizontal, but that's okay. I'll do that with the rest of them. Okay. So basically the same thing. You know? Okay, the only difference is you don't want to keep going that way with it because it's gonna this is gonna be on the outside. Okay, so you'll need trim around it. <laughs> wow. I suck at cutting. It doesn't have to look pretty. I don't care. <laughs> it is going to get the job done. Okay, so finished product. Okay, I'm going to do the rest. On the other side where there's shade. So let's go put this in the car. Okay so I'm on the other side of the shade. <laughs> Thank god. All right so the finished product in the window okay. I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna be able to do this one-handed so let me show you. I'm gonna show you. Okay, finished product in the window. Now all I did was just squish it in there basically, okay? Uh, a lot of people do that. I saw people have um, magnets, which is smart, um, or even Velcro, but I don't know if I'm gonna actually do that. I'm gonna see how this goes with just squishing it in there. And if I need to adjust, that's what that is for. So, but yeah, finished product. Like I said, I wish I had this horizontal, so I'm going to do that with the rest of them, but it's okay. I don't even care. It doesn't have to look pretty, just for me inside. But, can you tell? You can't tell, can you? You can just see my reflection. <laughs> okay, let's see if you can really see. Yeah, dirty window, which you can see. Okay, can you really see that? No, you probably can't. Even with my angle, I can't. You can see, see the lines? That's as much as you're going to see. And I see a little silver up here, or maybe the fabric. But other than that, that's blocked out, man. That's going to look nice. That is seriously going to deck it out, baby. I'm looking forward to that. All right, so I'm going to do the rest of them in the shade so I'm not freaking hot and sweaty and nasty and bleh. So um, I'm gonna get it all done and then I will show you what the finished products looks like inside the decor, top car. Wow, okay. So I got all four windows done and my bed is all complete. So all I have to do is put my shit in there now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the finished project, um, both of them, okay? Again, they are temporary <laughs> until I can get something a lot better than this, but it will get the job done. And I'll show you tonight whenever I'm done sleeping in it tonight and see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so like I said, all temporary, because this is crap. I literally put it together and don't give a shit. There's cracks, this is so messy, so sloppy, but I know it's gonna get the job done. Okay, that's one of the front windows. Back one is already falling apart. I may do end up doing magnets or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm going to see how it goes. But yeah, that one's upside down. <laughs> like I said, hot mess. <laughs> but I mean, with the cracks and stuff like that, I think generally you're not going to be able to see from the outside unless you really, really look. I mean, you can't even tell because my dirty window, but there's a little crack there and there. So, 
unless you really, I mean, you can see me as a reflection, but that's all black. So that's going to look so good whenever I actually get it done the complete right way, right way. So I got my pretty butterflies. You know, I'm a girl. <laughs> Here's another one in the front here. Like I said, again, hot mess. I don't care. It is getting the job done and I will have to do it another time. For the most part, I think. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. Okay, let's go inside. I'm gonna show you from the passenger so it's easier for me to turn. Okay, ready? Holy crap! <laughs> I know I got my trunk up open too. I'm going to show you my bed in a minute. But imagine the visor in the back, not in the front. It's actually quite dark in here. I'll show you tonight when I get into the campsite. But I think this is going to be good. I'm actually quite happy on how it's going to look. I mean, again, it's a hot mess. I don't care. Um, for the time that I did it in the hot fucking sun and not having everything that I really wanted to available It's not bad So I think honestly, this is gonna get the, the job done for right now um, this is again temporary because When I actually have the availability to do it on a table in the nice cool air somewhere um, and actually like measure it out and I mean everything the way it's supposed to it's gonna look a lot better so honestly for right now though I don't care it like I said it's gonna get the job done I'm already feeling the heat slowly dissipating in here because of it and that's good good that's exactly what I need so but anyway I'm gonna show you the bed real quick and and that's another thing uh, the bed is also temporary because um, it is it's gonna get the job done and I'll, I'll know this weekend how good it's gonna be but I think I'm gonna have to make a like a small platform like this itty bitty I don't know I have to measure it out and stuff for the back itself to make it completely flat because even with all that foam because of the foam so soft it's still I mean I'm not feeling the hump as much but it's still probably be uncomfortable for, for long term but for right now again it's gonna get the job done and I'm good and I feel like um you know when i get to that point where i can find somebody that has tools and help me out on this and i think i'm gonna have to go to florida soon to have my dad and my son help me out <laughs> but it's all good um again this is hey i'm pretty damn proud of myself honestly for the shit that i had to deal with for this past couple months this is going to be so much 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 better and i'm going to show you my bed now Okay, so this is from the trunk looking in, but I want to give you an idea because thank God I'm short. Because literally, this is the foot. My feet literally will touch right here. And that's okay, because I'm only five foot, so that's perfect for me. So that's from this angle. But let's show you. Okay. So, for the most part, this is not a really good big gap right here so but again I'm short so I, it's not going to be a big, big problem for me I have been able to turn I can get on my back all that sort of stuff I mean on my side whatever and even on my stomach sure it's gonna be a little tight space but shit it's a freaking little car what do you expect so for the most part again now I think I'm gonna be able to be sleeping okay so I got all my foam that I use and that's all this is is all foam and then of course my bed in I did get a sheet last night so I put a sheet underneath there again so and this is not the bed up pillow that I'm going to be using my regular pillows inside but for, just just to show you guys this is going to be my like day pillow or hanging out pillow or night whatever because I don't want to hit my headrest over here right so for the most part this is going to be basically the setup 
and um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my sleeping bag in here. But anyway, so for the most part, yeah, I'll show you tonight what it's gonna look like when I'm trying to sleep, okay? All right, so that's it for right now for me. Uh, showed you my bed, showed you the car. It's gonna be nice tonight. We'll see how that goes. Tonight's gonna be the ultimate test. So I, cause I'll be in bed for, for the rest of the weekend at least. So I'll be able to adjust accordingly to whatever I need to do. Um, so, but at least she's nice and clean. I'm gonna go get, put my shit in it now. But she's nice and clean inside for the most part now. And now she just has to do the outside, which I will do after I'm done with this weekend. Okay, so I will check you guys soon. Okay, bye.